here up in the tree hive in the sky and we're coming in for our collective card reading. Let's see what the universe has as a message for us, shall we? First, let's pick the perfect match together, shall we? And light a little fire. Indeed it is. The magic match. Hmm, that one had a little extra spark to it. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by today. We're going to start with messages from our spirit animals. wanted to make sure we were recording this. <laughs> Sometimes things happen that make it so <laughs> we get a little unsure, but that's okay. The answer will always come if we take a deep breath and believe and ask for the messages for the greatest good. I hope you're breathing deeply and relaxing as we ask for this message from our animal kingdom. Canary spirit, sing your own song. Mmm, so beautiful. So yellow, that's the color of the solar plexus, right at the top of our rib cage. And that's our confidence area. And we see here that this little canary spirit has a lot of confidence indeed. So that is really the individual spirit card for this reading, the main feeling as we go into this and let's just take a little read, shall we? It's always nice when someone reads to us for a minute. Canary Spirit says, I'll just put it right here so we can see it clearly, arrives to help us find our authentic voice and express what is in our heart. Free ourselves to experience our inner light and let it shine as Canary Spirit reminds us of our inherent joy and to support us as we sing our own song. Now is the time to let the world know who we really are. Canary Spirit Spirit's message is that you are free to be yourself and express your most cherished desires. The world wants to hear your song. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you're being called to be fully yourself, for only then will you find harmony and joy. You can make music with others so beautifully when your note rings true. Yes, it's really about individuality here. And perhaps there's even a song in your heart that you wish to sing. And song is healing. And it's also <laughs> a little bit of a magic spell in its own right when we sing out loud and sing the words that are in our heart. Okay, we'll leave this here. 
here. And we're gonna pull a little bit about our past, our present, current situation. I love the word current. It's, it means go with the flow. And that's a really good way to think of our present tense <laughs> and not be tense. <laughs> Just go with the flow. Let's have a little sip of water too, shall we, before we pull these out. I'll send some extra blessings and Reiki for your water and your food. Whatever we're consuming, even the air we breathe, we can be grateful for it first. We can share love to that universal source and watch the love flow back to us. Do that, let's just put a little love into the water before we have a sip together, shall we? Cheers. Mmm, so good. Water, that spirit that is within us. <laughs> we are water. We are spirit, we are energy, everything is energy. <laughs> These cards, they're being a little sticky. I'm just gonna give a little. Sometimes energy gets a little stuck in ourselves, in situations, in cards even. So let's see. Much better. <laughs> There's the two that wanted to come. And one more. Lovely. Here we have the star. This is hope. This is cosmic love look at these horses too and they say horses were really unicorns <laughs> in the beginning <laughs> which is a lovely thought isn't it and here we have this magnetic cosmic girl holding the hope LP the star we'll read about her in a minute but the star in tarot always represents hope. Keeping the main plan in mind as we go forward and believing and letting universe do the rest. For us, holding that light, holding that space, holding the love and shining that outwards so that things can just sort of fall into place as all these divine spirits gather around and put their energy into it also <laughs> so that we can gallop forward so that's the past is holding a lot of hope <laughs> I know we've all been holding a lot of hope here we have the wheel of fortune things turning you see sort of dancing out in the smoke with the ritual the great tree of life and the stars out with the ferns it reminds me of fern gully awesome little movie if you've never seen it. Maybe I'll watch that this week too. See if there's a message or two in there. It's a great message, the whole movie. Really. So this is the wheel that spins. It's always spinning. When this wheel of fortune comes up, it means that things are changing. There is a new cycle coming. And it generally means fairly quickly too. So if this is the current circumstance, we can see it growing up. We can see ourselves dancing around it and getting excited. And also with this, I feel a lot of gratitude and ritual and giving thanks and love to the earth as well. And here we have 
our future representation card. This is the six of stones. We see all the gems hanging off the tree and this is heart and solar plexus to me. So it's the green and the gold. That's our heart center and our confidence. I've been getting a lot of messages about how those are so intertwined, intertwined, you see. It's the root and the way that we spread out. So the heart, if our heart if we're sharing from our heart and holding that heart space for others, it really does affect our confidence and raise us up as well. And so the six of stones is usually pentacles and that just represents, you know, these, these gems being there for us to reach. They're totally within reach now. In fact, we've gathered them and let them charge up in the sunlight. <laughs> And the sunlight is really charging us in this situation now so that we can just become intertwined with all the right things and grow up towards the sky and branch out and share all that goodness. I love it. What a wonderful little reading. So I'll read straight from the book. This is the Chrysalis Tarot. In case you were wondering, this was really my first go-to tarot deck. It made things a little more challenging. I used the Rider Waite, of course, actually first. And when I was very young, uh, just maybe 15 or so I had some that were based on Avalon and Knights of the Round Table the Arthurian legends so this isn't exactly my first deck but when I started getting back into it this is the one that I really gravitated towards and worked with a lot and of course they changed the suit so it made it a little extra challenging and it's fun to challenge ourselves isn't it and to learn a little something <laughs> along the way. So we'll start with our star. Hmm. Thank you again for coming in to spend some time here. Let's see, which is this one? We're almost there. <laughs> the star, Elfie, hope and choices. Bring it closer again. Each evening when the sun sets, Elpi, whose name means hope, lights her golden censer and prepares to dash across the sky. With help from her four steeds, which symbolize the four winds, she sets the darkened skies ablaze with fiery lights to symbolize the good things that can get away. When Pandora opened her mythological box, a swarm of evil escaped into the world. Hope was the only good thing that remained behind. Elpi is that promise of hope and brighter days. She reminds us never to despair as we confront life's inevitable misfortunes. Elpi reminds us that the choices we make today determine our future and always visualize destiny bathed in hopeful starlight. Yes, hold that love, hold that hope, hold that belief for yourself, for situations, for the world itself, really. And it seems that since that's in the past, you've been doing really well at that, and I know we have, and I'm so proud of us. Thank you for working with me and the universe to make that so, to hold that space and hold that hope and hold that light for everyone. Okay, and as we come to the wheel now, Mm, the Wheel of Fortune. Its attribute is consequence. The wheel emerges from the tree of life, reminding us that life resembles a game of chance. The devotional figurine is Fortuna, goddess of fate and luck. Attaining destiny, wheel's highest desire for us involves life cycles of action and consequence. The wheel asks us to recall experiences that at the time seemed insignificant, but in hindsight reveal a path that eventually led to some greater purpose. In that, there's a message there about taking the lessons in life and how we have made them into a beautiful thing instead of only a hardship. And with that gratitude, so much more magic comes such mysteries illuminate the meaning and the power of the wheel. In our reading, the wheel suggests we have arrived at a critical juncture in the present cycle. The wheel, fortuna, and aromatic sage wafting from the smudging pot remind us that we control our life through the choices we make. 
indeed. It's a good time for ritual this week also, as we approach the new moon. Good time to set our intentions. I'm just going to actually use the candle and light this incense. When they mentioned about sage, I thought, yes, a little smoke, a little smoke cleansing for us. <laughs> Three times was the charm for it to light. <laughs> okay, and now we have the six of stones here. Let's just do a quick little read on that too. Why not? We have the time to share together. Here we are. Six talismans carved from barrel gemstones swing from the tree of life. That's twice that the tree of life is in our reading. So very important here. The green ones are emeralds, the gold ones are called heliodors, or gifts of the sun. Look at that. And we're just about to spring here in the, this part of the world. This card is about giving and receiving. The green and gold talismans symbolize caritas, charity of love for others and charity of love for self. The tree of life's interwoven energy flows upward from its roots to nurture personal growth and self-understanding. In our reading, this card draws our attention to charity, empathy, and acceptance of others. Yeah. This balance here of ourselves, loving ourselves as the root, and then joining in with others. And like I say, catching all that sun, rooting down and branching up to the cosmos. Just a lovely little reading. I think we will pull a couple charms, but first I really had an urge to pull one from the unicorn deck. So let's just do that. Or pull of the unicorns here. Hmm. Hope you're feeling well out there. I'm sending lots of extra love light your way. Peace, prosperity, protection for you and your loved ones too. And what message do those sweet unicorns have for us today? <laughs> I think the fairies really want to come out and play too. So let's see. Patience, we had this one last time. Pause before we take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst we wait. <laughs> I like the way it says that, whilst we wait. Yes, whilst we wait, shall we just play and have some fun? <laughs> that's why I love it when you come join me here in the sacred fun room. And that's why when this room came about and I put all the special things in here and the music and the cards and crystals and all of this loving feeling. At first I said it was called the sacred room and it just seemed a little bit too serious. So <laughs> when we're working with the divine we can also have lots of fun. That is so important. That joy is what we're really here for. So we can magnify that and make it happen. And I'm always so happy to be here with you and let a little extra magic shine through okay let's see last message here for the day other than some charms and some divination dice we'll look at what the fairies have to say Fairies, fairies, always so merry. <laughs> oh, soon the gardens will be growing. The fairies will be able to take off their winter boots and so will we. <laughs> we. <laughs> okay, that's the one. Emotional healing. This also came out last week. 
in one of the readings. As our heart heals of old emotional pain, we receive new blessings and love. That's right. Since we've been holding all of this hope and love in our hearts, and we've given gratitude for even the hard things, now our heart is healing and all the new blessings are going to come because we didn't give up on being true to ourselves and true to our hearts and to keep holding space and love for the universe. This is such a pretty card too, you know. Like we can look close in here and see that she's got this blue for her throat chakra, this gold, gold for her solar plexus, her sacral chakras down here is orange. This green emerald right at the center, right? That's heart healing. And we have that here as well, so. There's a lot of heart healing going on in this little reading, which is just beautiful. And the crown chakra, she's got these beautiful purple flowers and the white light up here into the sparkle. And again, with the tree of life, oh, isn't that beautiful? And butterflies on the shoulders and wings here, dragonfly wings of transformation. And this here at her third eye, the indigo of those little violets or forget-me-nots perhaps that indigo color it would be and just the beautiful sunrises and sunsets that we can be so thankful for and immerse ourselves in and because we're doing that all the good things are coming our way yes indeed indeed there we have it <laughs> sometimes things tumble and if we just somersault with it <laughs> It's extra <laughs> special. We can feel so proud of ourselves for just being a little bit of a gymnast. Hmm, what do the dice have? Here we have cutting the cords. Cord cutting came up also, I think, in the last reading. Sort of that, that meditation of visualizing sailboats floating down the river and up into the sky with golden sails of situations that aren't serving us anymore. So I feel... A lot here that uh, there's another one we can do is just to be bubbles floating around and when we see other people's bubble we can bounce into them but if there's a cord tied there we can just snip it and have ourselves floating in space freely without any cords and then we have the sheep which also came up I think last night and wildcard Wednesdays on our live Facebook stream this one here <laughs> is to be soft just stay soft in situations. It doesn't mean we have to follow like everyone else and be a sheep and go over the cliff or anything. Just to be soft and let other people have their ways. It's okay to, you know, to call someone's attention to the cliff ahead if we see it too and to be a happiness navigator and say, maybe you could go a different way. But if they really insist, we can just be soft and maybe even we can try to put a little fluffy pillow under there if they're gonna fall or at least be there to support them. And here we have the key, the lock and the key, the keyhole, the, the door is open. This really says the door is open to me at this time. And with the wheel of fortune rolling, yes, it is. The doors are opening now. And our third eye, like our fairy here with those flowers, as the spring comes, awareness is growing and our heart is healing and good things are on the horizon. We can see that on the horizon. Awesome, let's grab a few charms. Get right down to the bottom. Hmm. Couple more. All right, sure, there we go. The leaf, that's our tree of life there. Yes, the leaf, put that with the tree of life. And an owl. The wise owl, the wise owl within. We all have that intuition and that wisdom. All we have to really do is listen. We we'll put that owl up in this tree, the cosmic branching out tree that we're sending all that love on. We have that royalty. We are royalty. We are cosmic stardust and light, like Alpi. Transformation, the butterflies, just like on the shoulder there, butterflies guiding our way. This can also mean uh, messages from beyond. The love of 
ones that have gone past perhaps visiting us in different ways through birds and, and animals and even just sunsets that move us a certain way or leaves blowing in the wind, smells, all those kind of things that mean that those spirits are with us and supporting us. We have a seahorse here. Seahorse always means love to me, true love. And here it's a black seahorse, and I'm sure there's a white one some somewhere. It's the yin yang, yin yang, <laughs> the balance of divine masculine and divine feminine. It's also beautiful. I'll put that over there. And oh, and the black kitty as well. <laughs> I don't know if you know, but I have two lovely black kitties here, sisters named Divine and Dharma. They also do Reiki and lots of healing and they're special. Lately I've been thinking maybe cats are descendants of dragons. <laughs> star, of course we have the star. We had the star card. And look at this, St. Patrick's Day is coming up and we got a four leaf clover. You know everything's gonna be all right, my loves. We'll put that with the emeralds there. Imagine an emerald shamrock, emerald shamrock energy coming out. And of course this heart energy, which is also reminds me of a little key hole like this. That's a heart, heart shape. <laughs> so the key to our hearts, it's open. Our hearts are open. It's a beautiful time to be here and to watch spring coming. So thank you so much for being here and I'll be back again soon.